I have been asked the question, how did kangaroos, koalas and species of unique to Australia get there after the flood? They were on the Ark of Noah. They came through the flood and they came out of the Ark and they migrated just like people. They migrated from that location all over the world. Now, again, we've talked about this, but because of the flood and the events that initiated the flood, it caused an ice age. Now that ice age was not instantaneous. It starts at the time of the flood, grows in intensity for approximately 500 years, and then wanes for 200. It is caused by the volcanic activity at the time of the flood and following, blocking out sunlight, volcanic ash, blocking out sunlight, cooling the atmosphere, and the very hot water that came from below and mixed with the warm water and the seas that were already there, that evaporates a lot of moisture into the air, but the air is very cold, and so you form polar ice caps. Now, in the forming of polar ice caps, which did not exist before the flood, what happens? The ice starts and it grows and it extends much further north and south than where they are today, and that sucks two, 300 feet of water out of the oceans, lowering sea level two to 300 feet. Now, in the presentation I have on the waters cleave, I clearly show that if you were simply to lower sea level two to 300 feet, you would expose the great land bridges that go from Southeast Asia to Australia and the great land bridge wider than the state of Alaska that goes from the Russian Far East to the North American continent. Now, the water would be at its lowest point roughly midway through the Ice Age, or roughly 350 years after the flood. This is the time of uh, the life of Job. It's the time when Abraham would be a young man. But during that time, the animals which would migrate there, such as the marsupials, uh, would cross that land bridge while it was dry. And they go to Australia, and they find an environment that's very conducive to marsupials. But uh, roughly 500 years after the flood or so, the ice starts melting back to approximately where it is today. This puts more water back in the oceans, raises sea level two to 300 feet, and inundates the land bridges. And so this allowed them to migrate there. Now, people say that uh, kangaroos and other marsupials have only been found in Australia. That's not true. Uh, we have found fossil kangaroos, for example, in India. Uh, so the migration route from the point where they came out of the Ark to Australia, that's in a direct line. 